Okay, let's see. I think I got this on. It's been a while. Now, live in Michigan. We're zone 5B, I believe. Now is the time to start getting your plants planted. I think I did your seeds planted, I'm sorry, for the spring. It takes a while for these things to sprout. Then you want to get them sturdy enough to where they can make it outside. I think I made another one where you could make your own um, earlier. I made one maybe a year or two ago where you could make your own little seed planters out of newspaper. I don't really care for that one much. I, I did it that one. I did it once or twice after I made the video and it seemed like the, the newspaper just started coming apart and stuff and it didn't last. It started breaking apart from the water. It disintegrated. I don't really care for it that much. Um, I think a lot of these things are made by people that don't actually even use these things. So they don't know what they're talking about. Now, you know I hate plastic. Got honky plastic, right? But my partner uses a lot of plastic, it's on my nerves. So I try to use what I can from what he buys. And so at least it's not single use pr plastic. At least it gets him more than one use before it goes in the garbage. So this is what I did with the. Um, what do you call these styrofoam things, the meat trays that you get with your deli, your deli meats? You know, when you buy them, they're already cut up. So here's, ah, here's what I made. Can you see that? Let me get my glasses on, see if this is coming in good. Okay. Now, these little things here, this thing's not really staying up well, but you get the picture. These are little uh, paper, paper towel rolls, bathroom tissue rolls cut up. And I'll show you quickly how to do this. This one, okay, you want to get some, I use plastic, it'll hold up. You know, it won't disintegrate with water. What I do is, forgot my ice pick, but you can use it. I used an ice pick. Just let me see if I can do this here. You can see this. Again, I'm just using a camera, regular camera. Let me see if you can see what I'm doing here. You probably can't. Here, let me see. Ice pick is better, it'll work better. I just forgot to grab it. I'm using scissors here, barber shears, put holes in it. Put holes in that. Now, what you do, you got to get another one. What I used is the little tags that you get from bread at the store or buns, um, you get in them, why is everything in tug on plastic? You get them when potatoes are put in the plastic bags, they use these little tags here to close the bags. Put them down there. That's a ring. Yeah, I save this crap, like I said, I want to use it more than once. Now that's going to be your like little riser for your. Oh, that's all there is in there. You can really use anything now. It just you you just don't want this top one flush on there. You want you want it so that the water can drain. That's not sitting in the water. Just anything you can use them turkey. What do you call them? The little things you put under the turkey to help it. You know, sit up a little bit on the. Um, and your roaster, so your turkey's not sitting right in the grease. You can use them. Um, just anything that'll give it, you know, shims, you know, wooden shims, whatever. Now here's something that I decided that I'm doing this time that I didn't do last time. I'm going to take a piece of newspaper 
We'll see how all this works. This is the first time I've done this. And cut it down to where it's on the bottom there. Now, what you do, let me see if you can see that. Doo -doo. You cut the roll, bathroom tissue, toilet paper roll. The thicker really is, the better that it'll hold up, but the tougher it'll be to cut, <laughs> you know. So, but you want to, you don't want to use plastic in this part because you want something that's going to, you want something that's 100% degradable because you're going to put these in the ground, right? And you're going to want them to degrade, disintegrate because... If it doesn't disintegrate, your plants won't be able to spread the roots. And that's what you want. These scissors aren't the best. These are barber shears. These aren't the best for cutting this. Any other scissors here? I used kitchen scissors last time. Anyways, sorry uh, this is taking so long. I'm just an amateur at this, at this YouTubing, making video stuff. Okay, so, I guess I didn't have to cut all of them. I'm going to cut this down a little bit more so it fits in better. Now, I put them down in there, fill it with dirt, fill the little holes with dirt, and you might even want to put, did I move that so you can't see, let me see here. Put in the dirt, you might want to put a little dirt around. The, um, the holes. Make sure you put the hole, you know, fill it up pretty good. And you're going to want to fill it all the way to the top. Okay. I'm going to stick one more in there. Maybe it can fit all. It doesn't have to maintain its circular shape. Just as long as there's enough to get dirt in there, that's fine. That's all you really need for that. Okay, so you got your dirt and your holes. See that? Let's see, can you see that yet? Now, this is what I got. Bee food. Do, 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 do. I got this at a local coffee shop that just opened. Shout out to Main Street Perks on Main Street in Hudson, Michigan. If you're in the area, you should stop off. Her hours right now are, I believe they're 5.30 to 3.30. Hours will be changing. She's seeing, they're not open on Sunday. Hours 5.30 to 3.30. Not open on Sunday. But that's just, you know, she's still trying to figure out. She just opened up a few weeks ago. She's still trying to figure out what the best hours of operation for the area are. You know, when are people going to come in and buy coffee? Anyway, so... You see I'm putting in the seeds. Let me see, I can move it over here. The seeds. I'm putting two seeds in every in every hole. And if you have to add more dirt, you know, you push it down. Sometimes the dirt's like a little springy when you put it in. 
And then when you put the seeds in, it kind of pushes the dirt down. So you got to put more, you know, you push the seeds in, put more dirt. So you make sure it's covering the seed enough so that it can sprout and it won't be exposed to the air. Because some of these seeds, some seeds do okay, you know, being exposed to air. Some seeds do better if they're exposed to air. Some seeds don't. So I just make sure all my seeds are covered just to be on the safe side. So there we go. Um, oh, I forgot my water. Hold on. Oh, I got water right here. So you got your seeds in there. And then what you can do is just water it. You know, and you got your drainage. And you got your water catcher at the bottom, your basin. So anything that drains out, don't water too much because your basin is only so, so, so deep. You know, and if you water too much, it's going to overflow the basin and it'll overflow and then you have a mess to clean up. And it might even ruin, like if you have it on some type of nice wood with a nice finish, or no finish is worse, then it might ruin your finish, it might ruin your wood. So you're going to want to make sure to be, and these these don't need that much, especially right now it's winter time. And even though it's not winter time in the house, it still is like dry. If you're that worried about it, you know, not getting enough water, you could always fill the basin with water and then just let it absorb it from underneath as it needs to be. But just, you know, even just a spritz bottle, just spritz it. Maybe once a week, just depending on how dry it gets. You know, your house, if you have a humidifier, you won't need uh, water as, as often because it won't dry, the, the uh, soil won't dry out as quickly. But um, I recommend not, and I know this is a very popular thing, uh, but I recommend not putting any type of plastic wrap over it. I would only do the plastic, like if you're growing cactus, right? Because cactus, some cactus at least, do better in humid climates. And your cactus is, if you're in Michigan, it's going to stay in the house pretty much the whole year. I don't know anybody in Michigan who puts their cactus outside in the summer. With these plants that are going to go outside. I've never successfully had a, had a plant that I planted from seed. Transfer to the outside. If I had put some type of plastic over it. Or even in like them indoor uh, nurseries. Where you know it has like the big dome. And it's supposed to keep the humidity in. Whatever, whatever. I've never successfully transferred from that. Every time I let that, you know, took the cover off, the plant would die. So I recommend as close to what it's going to be outside when you eventually plant it outside, have it that way. You're not going to have that plastic on the plants when it's outside. So don't do it when it's inside. Uh, I have had success, mostly success, more success than failures when I just did not put a, any type of plastic cover on it, didn't put it in any type of nursery in the house. You know, if you have a nursery outside, it's a different story. You know, but inside, I think it's just too much of a difference. I don't understand why, but I've talked to other people and they have the same problem. So this is what you're going to do. You can plant these right into the ground because the roll will disintegrate. So as your plant's starting to stretch, its roots it'll start, you know, it'll either already be corroded or it'll start corroding. Plus it has a little bit of give, if you notice. 
you know, I don't know if you can see that. It has a, a bit of a give, you know, so once the, even if it's not starting to corrode, there's enough to where it'll have enough give for it. Um, of course, don't put the plastic in the ground. You don't want to do that. The newspaper will help keep the, you know, help keep the soil in the tubes if you want to, you know, if you ever decide you want to lift up the tubes for whatever reason or whatever. What was I going to say? There was one important thing that I was going to say. Oh, when you plant them, I would recommend not watering for at least, at least two days prior to planting. You want the soil to be dry. If the soil's wet, and I've done this, even in them plastic planters when I buy them from the um, nursery, the soil will just like disintegrate when you take it out of the cell. I'm, I'm going to call these cells because that's, you know, each one of these things I'm going to call them cells because that's what they call them at the nursery when you buy them in the plastic thing. Each individual plant is a cell, right? So, or each individual divider is a cell. Usually each divider has only one plant. Well, <laughs> I've done this with things I've planted from seed, and I've done thing, and I've done it when I've bought the plants from the store and the plastic planter sell things. If the soil is wet, when I try to take it out of the cell, the soil will just go and just scatter everywhere. So if it's dry, it's more compacted. It'll, it's more, it'll, it'll stay together better. So you don't have to worry about these these roots being exposed to air and unfamiliar soil when you're putting it in. It'll still be in its soil that it's used to. So anyways, I think...